Hi all, Ben from APT. Have you ever poked your head under your Discovery 3 or your Discovery 4 and thought, how am I going to protect that? Real off-road vehicles need real off-road protection. And one of the ways to protect your Discovery 3 or Discovery 4 is with an APT air compressor guard. The APT off-road Land Rover Discovery 3, Discovery 4 air compressor guard not only fully covers the air compressor to give you that real coverage, but is also designed to allow maximum airflow across the air compressor to prevent it from overheating while still maintaining that full coverage protection. New premium quality fixings are supplied in the kit. So all you need are a couple of basic hand tools and you're on your way. So what do you get? Laser cut precision folded 4mm true spec steel compressor guard, zinc primed and powder coated satin black. Two 8mm high tensile 12.9 rated zinc plated button head bolts and zinc washers. One 8mm zinc plated custom hook bolt and cone lock nut with zinc washers. The air compressor is located on the left hand side of the car just in front of the rear wheel in a bit of a vulnerable position. The APT air compressor guard uses all factory mounting points so it fits with rock sliders or with your factory plastic seals. Topping the scars at just 6 kilograms, it's a very user friendly product to install in your driveway at home. A 5mm Allen key and a 13mm socket or spanner is all that's needed, so let's get into it. Identify the two threads on the side and remove the plastic plug retainers if you don't have sliders. And if you do have sliders, like we have here, it's these two 8mm bolts that need to come out. Okay, now we have to raise the air compressor guard into place, lining up the two laser cut holes, and loosely start the two 8mm bolts with their washers. Now with those started, we're moving underneath the car. So here we have the air compressor guard loosely in place, ready to cover the entirety of the compressor. And above it here, we have the exhaust heat shield. This has a locating tab to hold it in place. We're going to use that same hole for our hook bolt. So now we have to put our hook bolt in place. So we're going to slide it underneath the heat shield. And twist it into the hole. And there it is. Okay, so now it's time to offer the air compressor guard up firmly against the chassis in its final resting place. To do so, we have to line up the locating pin into the chassis hole and the hook bolt through its mounting hole. So, to the there. Back to there. And now we can loosely start the 8mm cone nut with the washer. Now this cone lock nut is going to be tight to do up, cone locks always are, but as they're the only heat resistant nut, it's the ideal thing for the job. Must have stage fright. Okay, so right about now, we should have something that looks like this. All three fasteners started, the air compressor guard sitting in place, waiting to be tightened. Start with the two outside 8mm bolts first. We're going to knit them up first until they're flush, and then we're going to tighten them fully. By tight, I mean so tight that nothing moves, but not to the point of rounding out the head of the bolts. Because the cone lock's going to be tight, to get this one started, we're going to have to hold the bolt while we start doing the nut up, until the bolt can support itself. As the vehicle has a ladder chassis and a monocoque body, we only need to do the hook bolt up until the compressor guard is just firmly touching the chassis. 
This allows the required movement between the chassis and the body. A quick double check. Locating pin sitting in the hole in the chassis. The hook bolt tightened up so the guard is just firm against the chassis. And the two 8mm bolts nice and tight. That's it. Three bolts and one of the most vulnerable underbody components of your vehicle protected with rock solid protection with an easy install in your driveway at home. I'm Ben from APT Off-Road. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed the presentation and we look forward to seeing you out in the tracks.